Hey, what's going on guys? It's your girl Chanel. Welcome to my channel, Faces by Chanel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're oldie but goodie, welcome back. I'm super excited to have you guys here. Um, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my NYX After Dark swag bag as well as my IMATS haul, Toronto IMATS. So, this week, this past weekend, I got to go to the NYX After Dark party and we were blessed with this goodie bag filled of goodies from NYX Cosmetics. So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you as well as my iMats haul. I didn't do too much shopping at iMats, but I did pick up a few things. So this was the bag that I got and I'm just going to share with you what I got. So I'm going to quickly go through my iMats haul because it's not that large, it's really small. One of the first things I got, I went to Coco Lashes and I picked up just a bunch of lashes from Coco Lashes. I picked up a variety of styles, a variety of different um, lashes. I'm wearing one of them today, so I've already started. So I picked up eight pairs of lashes. So I picked up eight pairs. I picked up Queen Bees. I picked up Goddesses. Um, Risqué and um, Diva as well as Foxy. So I picked up a bunch of lashes. I also picked up their lash holder which looks like this. It holds three pairs of lashes at the back. So this is a good way for me to organize my lashes because child my lashes are all over. So this is a good way to organize it. So that was what I picked up. I also picked up this RCMA and this is a no color powder. I've heard a lot of great things about this powder, so I wanted to try it for myself. So I'm excited to try it on my clients. I have not tried it as yet. I want to compare it to the Laura Mercier powder, which is like my holy grail powder. So I am excited to try this on clients to see how I like it if I see that there's a big difference. And I will come back and probably do a um, battle of the Laura Mercier and this one just to see how it is. So I picked up that. I also picked up a pack of beauty blenders. Um, this was, I should tell you the prices. So the lashes, I think they were 30 for four pairs. Um, and that was the taxes, no taxes included. This was $40 for three beauty blenders, full size ones. You got a pink, a black, and a purple, and as well as the little micro um, beauty blender and a little bit, a small deluxe size of the solution. So this was 40, can't beat that. Beauty blenders here in Toronto are like $30, so this was a good buy. I picked up a next one of my Inklot Duraline. I already have this, but my lid broke, so I've now switched this the one that I had previously out into my, my personal kit, and this has gone into my professional kit. So Inklot Duraline. Okay, starting back, I got I went to Lime Crime and I just picked up one of their Velveteen Lime Crime lipsticks and this is Cashmere. Of course, this is such a popular color. Um, and this was probably this is my first time actually getting anything from Lime Crime. So I really wanted to try it and it's just a really pretty color. And for me, I would use this in the center to ombre to do lots of different things with it. So I got cashmere, which is a really pretty, it's kind of like a pinky, like a nudie pinky, kind of taupeyish pink color. It's really pretty. So I got cashmere. I also got this Beauty So Clean, which I always get. This is their sanitizing mist spray. I use this to sanitize my eyeshadows, um, as well as my powders and that things in my professional kit. So this is a staple for me. And I also got the Beauty So Clean um, tested. These are the wipes. So it has uh, 200 um, wipes in here. And this was, I believe, 4 or $5. So pretty much guys, that is all that I got from iMats. It was a really small haul. This time around I didn't purchase a lot of things. I really only purchased things that I necessarily needed. You guys know I went to Gen Beauty just a few weeks ago and I got a lot of stuff. So I really was really particular of the things that I picked up. Plus a lot of vendors were not at the, well for me because I always go to the New York one, a lot of vendors were not at the Toronto one. So it was okay. It wasn't special to be honest with you but it was okay I met a lot of you guys um, I met a lot of my subscribers which was awesome thank you for those of you 
thank you for those of you who came up to me and said hi who remembered me from back in the day when I had a different name silent chick beauty it was awesome meeting you guys you guys are awesome you made me feel so special so thank you guys so much now so that was pretty much it for IMAS I had a really good time um, in terms of socializing with you guys and meeting my other beauty blogger friends over there so now we're gonna move on to the next swag bag so later on that day um, I was invited to the NYX After Dark Party, which is an event that usually happens after every IMATS, whether it's here in Toronto, New York, or, or LA. So I got invited to that. And when we were leaving, we got this awesome bag of goodness. So, oh my gosh. So I'm just going to grab a few of the things that's in here. So we got two pairs of their Wicked Lashes. And I got a few of these lashes in my... Um, Gen Beauty haul, so I am gonna throw like I'm gonna pro throw one pair of this in my giveaway for you guys. So really nice lashes. These are super dramatic and honey. I'm all about these kind of lashes. So I got that. We also got their soft focus tinted primer, and I got one in medium beige. And this is their primer here. It looks like that. And this is warm chai. And this is their fo soft focus tinted primer and that what it looks like that's what it looks like so there's a medium and there's a dark interested in trying that we've got a whole bunch of their um, bright idea illuminitis illuminizing sticks we got a whole bunch of these and you guys I showed you a few of these in um, my gem beauty haul so we got a bunch of these I think we got the entire collection oops I think we got the entire collection so we got a whole bunch of different colors these are really nice I'm wearing one of the purple ones on my cheeks today I'm wearing this one because I have two of these this one is in what is the color lavender lust and I'm wearing a little bit of that on my cheek today so that's pretty we got a, the whole collection of this the entire thing we also got their lip liners let me just grab a few of these. We got a whole bunch of their, um, what are these, matte lip liners. We got a whole bunch of different colors, as you can see. Really nice colors, which I was super excited for. Like, who doesn't love lip liners? These are going straight into my kit. And the funny thing is when I went to IMAX, I went to MAC to purchase their Prolong liners as well as lip liners for my kit that I need to restock on. And they weren't accepting cash and I only had cash on me. So I wasn't able to pick up my um, lip liners from MAC. So I was super happy when I got these. So I got a bunch of lip liners. And lastly, we got their entire line of their no filter finishing powder and let me tell you this is like a makeup artist's dream we got the entire line and i'm super happy because i have not tried out a lot of nyx's face um complexion products so i was really excited to get this it's very reminiscent of um somewhat not completely but it kind of reminds me of the mineralized skin finishes from mac like it's very finely milled we got the entire collection so um we got from the lightest porcelain to the darkest shade which is cocoa and i was excited to get cocoa um, this is what cocoa looks like now you know i was just super excited to get this shade right here so this is cocoa and cocoa is just really i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that because my light is very blinding but it's just a really nice shade and there it is kind of swatched on my hand once you blend it into my skin it works pretty well so once you blend it into my skin it works pretty well so I was excited to get this color here oh my nail just did, dug into it but I was excited to get this color right here and then there was a next shade that I really liked this one's classic tan then we got golden which is so pretty as well and this is a really beautiful shade to even apply as a highlight um for underneath the eye to set your concealer so 
for us dark ladies out there so i really like this color as well so that's what all the things that we got from nyx like i said we got their entire line of their no filter powder as well as the entire line of their illuminizing sticks and a few of their lip pencils and two of their soft focus um tinted primers so i was super excited thank you nyx you guys are awesome I had so much fun we were turnt at that party um you guys seen that in my previous vlog so anyways I hope you guys enjoy it I'll definitely be back with battles of the brands um let me know down below comment down below if you want to know if you want a, a like a really in-depth review of any of these products if you want me to try them to see how they look on deeper skin let me know don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next video bye